Hey there guys, this is I'm Real Ninja with Let's Play Heretic. This is episode 3, mission 4, the Azure Fortress. Already? I love this map. Just, let, let, me, let me get that out of the way right now. I love everything about this map. It looks fantastic. But, starting out, you're going to want to take care of these disciples in this starting room. I just, I spray fire mace into them and hope they die. Alright, they're dead. Let me, uh, switch over to Dragon Claw, finish them off. Run in here, open this. Now, it's going to be one of these walls right here. Pop off, you can grab yourself a ring, a ring of invincibility and a quartz flask. Now, open this door, take care of the three Ophidians in this room. Alright, you all gonna come through the doorway? That's the question. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Okay, they're all dead. Uh, wander around this room, grab the quartz flasks, which I'm going to go ahead and pop one. You can head back in this teleporter to go back to the start. These have now lowered for your first two secrets. Alternatively, you could have just crouch walked through the window. So now, we go into the only door we can, which is this one. Enter. Make your way around the sides. They're just gargoyles starting out. There's also a silver shield right there if you'll need it. There you are. I knew you flew behind me, I just didn't know where. But, clear out this room. Doesn't look like there's any more. You can head down here, grab a bow. You can also, once you head back up those stairs, open up a door with an Ophidian. Come back to that later. But, if you no doubt heard, Grabbing the bow opens these guys up. Alright, you're dead. Again, not a secret. You can open this up. Inside each of these cages, there are three skeleton warriors. Knights. Something. I've probably switched the name like 8,000 times at this point. I don't care. Just... Fire blindly. You'll know when they're all dead when the next time it flashes and there's nothing walking. Or when the axes stop. So that one's empty. Keep in mind you don't want to walk too far because of that. Oh, no, there's still a guy in there. Oh, in fight between a saber claw and a fidian. It's a shame I'm fighting for my life right now. Ah, oh, he's still going at him. Nice. Uh, there are three cages, like... Crap, you're still alive. No, you're not. So, let's, uh, let's go ahead and clear these guys out a little bit. This, this door just leads back out to here. Oh, something else. I think. Yeah. It does count as a secret. The room that the Ophidian is in is a secret. So next, head in here. 
I went to the wrong one. Oh, well, I'll take care of these guys. Come on, there you go. We actually want to go in the other door. You'll understand in a moment. Also, open this wall for another secret, which is a flame orb and a quartz flask. Something about this map, though, I think there's 13 secrets total. Oh, I almost did a dumb thing. Okay. This ceiling? Step in, step back out. It's a crushy ceiling. The worst kind. Come on, Mr. Golem. You squished. Alright, and there should also... Yeah! Let's get these skeleton knights through this, too. Come on! A little bit closer. A little bit closer. You're not gonna come this way. I hate you. Alright, run through when it's raising back up. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. I just love having this thing crush them to death. It's so satisfying. Also, it doesn't auto-kill you like most crushy ceilings, because it will raise back up. You will take quite a bit of damage, though. It's like 60, 60 health. So wait for it to drop back down. Do I? Yeah, I guess I did need that. Alright. Next. If you'll notice, this one has a symbol on it, the other does not. Enter it. I've already lost count of secrets. I think we're up to five? I'll look in a moment. Just run through here. Kill all the golems. Straightforward as could be. I think from here we can just open this door. Just keep in mind, they'll pour out through this door, so they can be behind you. So running here, you're going to have two, uh, two golems. Straightforward, just shoot them. Wait a minute. Well, that's neat. It's a fake wall. Cool. I never noticed that. Alright. So, wait for this thing to come back down. You're going to want to run across this way. Step in here. You're going to have four skeleton knights come up behind you. Actually, I'm just going to hell staff them. It just has some runes and a crystal vial, nothing too major. But now that we have the yellow key, I went to the wrong side, oh well. Now that we have the yellow key, we can backtrack this way. Thought I hit the button, but I didn't. Uh, grab these arrows. And these arrows. I'm going to go ahead and grab this shield also. You can now access this door. So, do so. Yeah, it is dead. I'm just gonna gauntlet these guys, because I really don't feel like me messing with them. That's so satisfying. I, I love that weapon so much. Like it, it beats the uh, what's it called beats the chainsaw from Doom any day. Yeah, you know, ripping them up with a chainsaw. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, something else. Something that we have not seen too much of in this game. 
complete darkness. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why am I not just using a torch? Well, I don't feel like it. I guess to be honest... Actually, now that I think about it, it's the only time we will ever use a torch and it be really handy. Look. That's the thing. So, open this. For your sixth? I really need to keep track of what number secret I'm on. I've already lost count. Seventh. Seventh secret. So this raises up, hop in quick, sit in the corner, spray hell staff, win. Okay, that's eight, nine, ten, and we're back out here. God, it's so much brighter. Like, I'd, I kind of wish the game was always this bright, because it looks so much better. So starting out here, one of your best things you could do is sit at the corner of this one and go ahead and take care of the were dragons in the left cage. So that way you can do the same for the right hand one. Otherwise they'll just shoot through these bars. Alright. So now then, we get to a part I really don't like. We got three Iron Liches back here. With no easy way to kill them other than spray Phoenix Rod and don't hit gargoyles coming at you with it. Oh, I almost, almost roasted myself good there. Alright, one more should do it. Yeah! Don't need that Silver Shield. Head down this way. Hop down this one. You raise back up, you get yourself a torch. You also raise up every other saber claw in this hallway. And there was also an Ophidian at the very end. So, kill everything, run through, you can grab collectibles from some of these alcoves. Like Crystal Geode there, Greater Runes, Quiver. Okay. Now this will constantly raise and lower. I honestly can't remember where it takes you. So... Ah! Okay then. This is where we killed those golems and got the yellow key. There's also a map scroll right there. Let's see. Was it... 11 secrets we're at? I can't remember. Head through here. Kill everything in your way. Alright, you're gonna have wear dragons in each window. Three in each. Strafe around. Lay into them with Hellstaff. All I have to say is not the cleanest method, but it's pretty dang effective. Just as soon as this gargoyle dies, please, pl please die. Thank you. All right, that still hasn't opened. I think that doesn't open until you grab that phoenix rod. 
or step where that phoenix rod is. Alright, that window's completely empty. Now we just take care of this one. Just strafe back and forth. Grab that phoenix rod. Yeah, it just opened. I heard it. Head this way over to the right. Take care of this saber claw. Flip this switch. That opens. Behind the phoenix rod. Okay. This... Don't take this just yet. Take all the items in here. Don't take this exit yet. Because we still have two secrets and one enemy. Now, it's not... Yeah, it is. Okay. Two secrets. It's these two windows. I have no clue how to get in those otherwise. There's no other way I have found. Unless these lower them. So run in here, run into both cages. Actually, I'm curious, does that open it? I guess we'll find out on the way back. Because uh, the exit I just passed up is actually the secret exit. Which we will be taking. So head through here, head back into this room. Because that switch also opens this, where we have another disciple. Kill him, grab anything he drops, don't take this exit. This is the normal exit and will take you to E3 M5. We want to take the secret exit, I just came back so I can get 100% kills. So green door. Head this way. Also, you can crouch walk into here, but there's nothing. Except for the things that the Iron Lich has dropped, which I will grab. It's, uh... Yeah. Switch to our bow. And the Azure Fortress is done. I love this map. I really do. It's not too difficult... But it's not too easy, either. There are a lot of narrow hallways, tons of secrets. It's really fun. I, I really enjoy this map. This is one of my favorites that I've played so far. Granted, there's still another, what, five in this episode and two more episodes? There's still like 23, 23 more maps I haven't seen yet. But, now we head on to the secret area, the Aquifier which we will take care of next time. Until then, this has been I'm Real Ninja with a Let's Play Heretic. Take care, and have fun.